We're talking a lot about taking care of our resources, you know, taking care of our waterways, getting them cleaned up, and taking care of our spots. So this particular video is going to be about how to take care of your bait spots. You know, like you find these bait spots, you put your time in, and, and sometimes it takes a long time, so you find a freaking little golden gem out there, huh, B? It, it, ta it takes a lot of hopping to different spots to find yeah. a really good one. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you one of our bait spots that we use here uh, in freshwater and, uh, and how we take care of it, you know? Basically, it's important to feed your bait spots. Don't overfish them, you know, take only what you need. Guys, check out this footage. I think you're gonna love it, man. This is how we feed our spots. You guys can do the same thing, man. When you find a spot with some bait, go ahead and feed it every once in a while, man. Whenever you go there, take a few baits and make sure you feed the rest of them, man. Keep it healthy. All right, you guys, check this out.
to deal with this guy right here. So this is a breeding Akara. You can tell, because look at the colors on that thing. It's all lit up. See that electric blue on the belly right there? That's probably a, a big female that's gonna breed this spring. So when you find those big ones, we always, them or... always release these ones. Yeah, so like, like, like normally the go. ones over four inches, we'll release them. Mm -hmm. Cause they, um, cause they are uh, the breeders. So ones over four inches, like this girl right here, we'll release her so that she can breed and create more. They are an invasive species, but uh, they're beautiful down here and they provide food for literally all the other fish we don't have down here, like the largemouth, the peacocks, the mm -hmm. bullseye snakeheads, bowfin, which are all, you know, a mix of invasive and native species, but true, true. All their populations are still booming down here. That's a pretty one, man. Super pretty fish. Yeah, we always release those, those bigger ones. And like Brandon showed you right here, if you got a breeder, this, this is actually a different one. This is a spotted tilapia. This is definitely not a breeder. These things get to like two yeah, pounds. Yeah, those things get huge, so we can use yeah. that one for bait. Yeah, we could. We can use this one. All right, so there's so many different species in this spot, man. Yep. This is a spotted sunfish right here. It won't stop freaking out. <laughs> spotted sunfish right there. Another freaking perfect bait right there. Perfect bait. Right there. Right. Another thing that's super crucial to do is clean up your spot. There's always going to be so much darn trash and everything in your spot. Um, that's one thing inspired by Captains for Clean Water. We got to do is clean this stuff up, man. Two minutes, get a net full of trash. All right, you guys, that's actually a zebra tilapia right there. Not to be confused with a baby spotted tilapia. The way, some of the ways you can tell is some, a lot of the times I'll have a little dot there up on their dorsal fin. And also on the very last, oh God, the last stripe will normally be to have one little white stripe right at the base of their tail right there. And that's normally the way you can tell between a zebra tilapia and a baby spotted tilapia because sometimes the baby spotted tilapia will have stripes just like this guy. But these guys' stripes are normally more pronounced and they'll have the little dot up there on the dorsal fin and they'll also have that little white stripe right there at the base of their tail. But very cool little fish. And these guys get, like, they're probably our, our biggest tilapia down here right next to blue tilapia. I've seen these guys, like, probably, like, up to four pounds. They get really, really big, but... Cool little fish, man. Super pretty too. They also call them hornet cichlids. So right before we leave, we're gonna go ahead and just really feed the spot. Look at all these walking catfish. A swarm of them. You see all the mud from all the freaking cichlids tearing stuff up. Yeah. It's good, man. The spot looks good and healthy. Yeah, it is. We got some of that, some of that trash off the bank and stuff. That's good. There's, there's probably hundreds of them underneath that freaking thing right there. Mm -hmm. they, all just, they pour out of there. It's crazy. All right, you ready to fish? Yeah, man. Let's see if we can get a big peacock. Let's go.